Black History Minute, man. The Black History Minute is uh, about Denmark Vesey. Are you are you familiar with Denmark Vesey? Name before. Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna come on screen to the game real quick. Uh, Denmark Vesey, also known as Telemec, uh, born in 1776 and died um, July 2nd, 1822, was an African-American leader in Charleston, South Carolina. He worked as a carpenter. In June 1822, he was accused and convicted of being as the leader of the Rising, a potentially major slave revolt, which was scheduled to take place in the city on july 14th he was executed on july 2nd likely born into slavery in saint thomas vesey was enslaved to captain joseph vesey in bermuda for some time before being brought to charleston where he gained his freedom vesey won a lottery and purchased his freedom around the age of 32. he had a good business and a family but was unable to buy his first wife, Beck, and their children out of slavery. Vesey became active in the Second Presbyterian Church. In 1880, in 1818, he was one of the founders of an independent African Methodist Episcopalian AME church in the city, which became known as the Emmanuel African Methodist Episcopalian Church after the Civil War. This was this first independent black denomination in the U.S. was founded in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in 18, 1816. His church in Charleston had the support of white clergy in the city. It rapidly attracted 1,848 members, making it the second largest AME congregation in the nation after Mother Bethel in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In 1822, Bessie was alleged to be the leader of a planned slave revolt. Vesey and his followers were said to be planning to kill slave owners in Charleston. What else were you going to do with slave owners? Uh, liberate the slaves and sell back, sell to the Black Republic of Haiti for refuge. By some accounts, the revolt would have been would have involved thousands of slaves in the city as well as others who lived on plantations which were located miles away. City officials sent militia to arrest the plot's leaders and many suspected followers on June 22nd before the rising could begin, which believe, which was believed to be planned for July 14th. No white people were killed or injured. Bessie and five slaves among the first group of men were among the first group of men to be rapidly judged guilty by the secret proceedings of a city-appointed court and condemned to death. They were executed by hanging on July 2nd, 1822. Bessie was about 55 years old. In later proceedings, some 30 additional followers were executed. His son, Sandy, was also judged guilty of conspiracy and deported from the United States, along with many others. City authorities ordered that the church should be raised and its minister was expelled from the city. Holy smokes. That is Denmark VC. What you think about that, brother? Wow, there's way more there than I thought. I mean, again, like you said before, what else do you do to a slave owner? I mean, what is, what is he worthy of? Death. Yeah. I mean, you can't negotiate. It doesn't change his mind. What do you do? I mean, so what do you what do you do with a slave owner? Ain't nothing to do with him, but make him looking for him. I mean, he left two days ago. I don't know where he went. I mean, he's not gonna say, "Oh, you want your freedom? Oh, okay, bye. See you later. Thanks for all your help." That ain't gonna happen, right? <laughs> you know, he's gonna have to go. Shit. No. You know what right. always made me? You know what always gave yeah. me, made me, made me crazy in my head is how. People would make a, the person that wanted to put the slave owner to death like that person was a bad person. Like you fighting for your freedom, you're a bad person for fighting yeah. for your freedom. Like the person that's enslaving you, they're the yeah. they're the good person, right? 
I never understood that train of thinking, man. You know what I mean? But yeah. I mean, I, that that just killed me, man. Because when people would say, "Yeah, you know, they gotta go, they gotta die," what what else would you do? Right? It's like the English and the Irish. The Irish are like, yeah. man, these guys gotta yeah. go. They want to slave. They they think they're gonna have us in slave forever. No, they gotta go. They gotta go. The Indians did try to yeah. do it in uh, India. I mean, to the British, I mean, hey, you know, you got to go. You enslaving people around here, you got to go. Anyway, brother, that was yeah. uh, Denmark Vesey. That's your Black yeah. History Minute. Don't just take our word for it. Go check it out for yourself. Dig that.